Hello, my name is Ardi and we are going to solve practice problem 10.3 from Sadiku book and the question is to find I0 find I0 in this figure so I0 is here the current that flowing that pass through this 8 ohm resistor and we are asked to use mass analysis okay let's see what can we do first but if we see here we have two types of coordinates two types of polar and rectangular coordinates complex numbers so this one is in polar coordinates this is also in polar coordinates but the others is in Cartesian or rectangular coordinates so I want to convert them first so let's see convert into Cartesian okay so the first one will be 10 and the angle is 0 degrees and this will be become 10 cosine 0 degrees plus J 10 sine 0 degrees okay cosine 0 degrees is 1 so I will have 10 and then sine 0 degrees will be 0 so I only have 10 here so this is equal to 10 volt and then for 50 the angle 30 degrees it will be 30 cosine uh, 30 degrees plus J sine 30 degrees and so we will have 30 cosine 30 degrees is one half multiplied by the square root of 3 plus J multiplied by sine 30 is 0 0.5 right uh, but we need we need to multiply it. Oh, that is a mistake. So this should be 50, not 30. So I'll have 50 and 50. And this also should be J50, right? J50. And sine 30 is 1 half. So we can calculate this. This is 25 square root of 3 plus J25. And then 25 multiplied by square root of 3, I think I need some help. 25 multiplied by square root of 3. It is 43.30. Yeah. 43.30. See, that is 43.30 plus j25 okay so i will have 43.30 plus j25 okay i think this is enough for conversion and let's delete this and now let's concentrate into this circuit okay i will make three loops here the first one is this one and I will name this as loop 1 and then this second loop here will be loop 2 and then the third loop here will be loop 3 and remember that the current of in loop 3 is equal to I0 so let's take this as a note here okay uh, this is not 10 volt but 10 ampere right okay that should be 10 ampere okay now let's take a look at each loop so let's see at loop 1 so at loop 1 we have a current source here so that makes that this current is exactly this value here and that means that i1 
is equal to 10 ampere this is for loop one and then let's move on to loop two we do not have any current source there so we need to calculate now so let's start from this voltage source okay and i will have minus because the current is flowing from negative to positive and then the value i will use the rectangular one so i will have 43.30 plus j25 and then this resistance here which is 6 ohm so i will have 6 and the current that pass through the 6 ohm resistor is i2 however another current pass by and it's going opposite direction and the value is 10 ampere so this will be minus i1 but i1 is 10 so i will just plug 10 here and then let's move on to this current here this loop the third component i mean so i will have an inductor with a value of j4 so i will have j4 and j4 needs to be multiplied by i2 minus i3 okay and that will equal to zero okay now let's simplify this equation okay and this will be minus 43.30 we open the parenthesis minus j25 and then plus 6i2 minus 60 minus 60 plus j4 i2 minus j4 i3 and that will equal to zero okay now for this one i will have minus 103.30 and that is coming from this one this one and this one and then the imaginary complex here will become minus j25 minus j25 and then I will have plus i2 I will have this 6i2 and j4i2 so I can take that out so I will have 6 plus j4 of i2 and then I only have this part for i3 so I will have minus j4 i3 and that will equal to 0 okay I can move this to the right hand side so i will have 6 plus j4 multiplied by i2 and then minus j4 i3 and that will equal to 103.30 plus j25 okay i think we cannot do anything else from here let's save this as equation number one Okay, and now let's see at loop number three. So I have loop number three. Uh, let's see from here. Let's start from this inductor here. I will have J4. J4 multiplied by I3. But I2 is flowing to the opposite direction, so I will have minus I2. And then for this one, I will have 8 minus J2, so plus 8, 8 minus J2 multiplied by I3, because no other currents that pass through this series part, right? I3 and that will equal to 0 okay now what can I do from here is I take out this one J4 I3 minus J4 
I2 and then plus 8 minus J2 of I3 and that will equal to 0 and if I add this up so I will have minus J4 I2 and then plus 8 plus J2 multiplied by I3 and that will equal to 0 so let's save this as equation number 2 and what can we do from here is we need to plug this two equation into our maybe some calculator or MATLAB let's see okay let's paste this okay Now I will make this in the matrix form. We have two variables i1 and i2. So I will have this coefficient here is 5 s6 plus j4. And then this will be minus j4. And this is also minus j4. And this is 8 plus j2. And then we take out the I2 and I3. And for the right hand side, we will have this complex number here. 103.30 plus J25. And this will be 0. So I think calculating this will be a nightmare if we are doing it by hand. So... Let's plug this into MATLAB. Five. Let's see where is my MATLAB. Okay, there is it. So I will have. Okay, let's see. A is equal to six plus J multiplied by four. And then that will be minus j multiplied by 4 then I will have minus j multiplied by 4 and then lastly I will have 8 plus j multiplied by 2 is it okay? it's okay and then for the right hand side I will have maybe b equal to 103.30 plus j multiplied by 25 and once more it's zero okay it's zero ah okay i think space problem okay yeah okay and then let's calculate that in first a multiplied by b okay so i will have that value here so This is the value, so let's see. From here, from here, I get the value of I2. Is this value here? 12.0995 minus J 2.24. Six one and then I three is two point four eight zero four plus five point 
for 297 J Okay, and the unit is ampere and this is also ampere so this is the i1 and i2 value however it's us in uh, polar coordinates so let's see let's see by using matlab Yeah, this one. Okay. What does the comment why? I think the magnitude, right? The magnitude. So let's see. Absolute of this number. Why copy? Yeah, the magnitude of this one that will be nine point five point ninety six five point ninety six so this is will be this will be five point ninety six five point ninety six and then the angle what is the angle the angle is let's see it should be arc 10 of mm, 5.4297 divided by 2.4804 and this should be in radian so i need to convert it into degrees radian to degrees of that one yeah and that will be 65.45 is it correct yeah 65.45 65.45 okay 65.45 degrees and the unit is ampere and this is i3 and remember that i0 we take notes that i3 is equal to i0 so i0 is equal to i3 which is this value 5.96 and the angle is 65.45 degrees and the unit is ampere so this is the answer of this question hopefully i did not make any mistakes and thank you for watching bye bye